Okay, there we go. We're recording for Mailbag. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to get the good microphone. Just take me one minute. I'm going to switch to the good mic, so uh, I don't know, watch your ears. It could suddenly get a lot louder, or it could do the opposite. Who knows? Okay, there we go. I just have to get the, uh, the box with the stuff in it and something to sit on, and I'll be right back. You can let me know if this uh, mic sounds any better. <laughs> Something to sit on does not appear to be forthcoming. Let's try this little cushion. Cushion? Cushion? Right here. There we go. We'll use that. We'll take my shoes off. I'll check the chat, make sure everything's good, and then we can jump right into mailbag. Hang on. There we go. Good morning, everybody. Let's see here. All right, sounds like the mic's good. And check the camera angles here real quick. Make sure they're acceptable. Yeah, seems acceptable. Good. I didn't get um, Brawley because she was in the rocket. I'm just going to send a note to DJ that if she happens to get up, she could bring Brawley down. Okay. All right. Maybe Brawley will find her own way down here. There's no reason she couldn't. She's pretty adventurous, and uh, they're all so bold. They don't really mind going anywhere, so she could turn up. I guess we'll see. Now, um, before I forget, Ari, you're directly in the way. Oh, okay, buddy. Sorry I touched you. Uh, before I forget, um, there's one box that I didn't bring in today, which was filled with birdseed. Uh, three bags of birdseed. So I took the hint and I refilled the bird feeder this morning. Um, unfortunately, there's not a good camera on it right now because that's the one that we're using here. Um, but uh, um, where was I? Sorry, that phone call. Um, oh, the bird seed. Yes. So thank you to someone who sent bird seed. The note just said, enjoy your gift. Uh, and the outside of the box just said Kitten Academy. So. Uh, I don't know for sure who sent the bird seed, but it's much appreciated by uh, me and by the birds and uh, by proxy. The cats I know appreciate it. They love getting out there and watching the birds. And there's a little chipmunk that was just up on there this morning and probably will come back. I made sure to spill a little seed on the porch for him. Uh, and uh, of course, as you know, the oldest class, the ones that are getting adopted soon, all know how to use the cat door. In fact, Nibble spends almost the whole day out there in the cat run uh, every day. Uh, she's probably out there now. Yes, she is. She's out there right now at the top shelf. I had to lean over to see it. So, uh, so that's real fun. And, and thank you so much for, for providing that extra entertainment for them. Uh, that's really sweet of whomever may have sent the bird seed. I just wanted to say that uh, before I forgot because, you know, it's not here to remind me. So we've got a package, a pack of, of letters and cards here today. We're going to start with that. Uh, we've got a couple postcards. This one's a beautiful bridge in a uh, sort of a wooded area. It reminds me of the Arboretum. 
uh, which uh, is uh, Portland Japanese Garden. Well, that's I was going to say it reminds me of the Japanese Garden specifically at the Arboretum. Uh, the the uh, is it called the Chicago Arboretum? I don't know. The one that we used to go to there uh, way up north. Um, really beautiful. It's, they've got a beautiful Japanese garden too, although this one's much more dense, um, possibly because it's better growing in Portland. I don't know. Anyway, it says here, uh, roses are red, violets are sort of blue. We wish you all the best and for good, correctly placed poos. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Much love from Marco HRF, his royal fluffiness, and his minions. Marco and his minions. Thank you so much for that. It's a beautiful postcard. Um, and um, thank you for the well wishes about the poop. So, yeah, I guess that gives me a, just a moment to talk about poop, uh, which, you know, I love to do. Uh, that's not true, by the way. I don't, I don't have some particular love for talking about poop, but when you are raising kittens, it is uh, just a super important indicator of health. So uh, we do end up talking about it a fair amount, especially when uh, somebody's feeling a little under the weather. And so you know that our two youngest kittens, uh, Wellingtons and um, Squall, have been on and off uh, a little bit sick. Uh, I'm happy to report that this morning they both had sort of soft poops. I don't know if that made it into the weight chart yet. I haven't, I haven't been keeping up with the weight chart quite as well as I ought to. Um, and uh, they both ate uh, real food this morning. They ate, uh, first off, I've been giving them um, uh, RC Mom and Baby Cat wet food with some KMR2 mixed in. Uh, they wouldn't, they just didn't go for it by itself, but as soon as I put KMR2 on top, they were all over it. So I thought, all right, we'll just mix it right in. And this morning they, they both went for that. They were very, very hungry, and that also helped. So I put that down. They were kind of almost pushing each other out of the way to get to it, which was cool. Um, and then uh, a little bit later, I gave them some KMR, some milk, uh, which they didn't eat a lot of, but they had enough. And then after that, DJ brought Teaspoon in and gave him some chicken. He still likes to eat his chicken, and she still loves to give him chicken. And she left the rest there, and they both ate lots of the chicken as well. So uh, that's great for them. They're, they're just they're eating really well. Um, Definitely, as of last night, though, uh, Squall was still feeling ill. She kept throwing up her food and uh, even her water when I gave her some sugar water to try to get, make sure that she had some energy. She has plenty of energy, by the way. I was just trying to get ahead of it in case, you know, um, throwing up everything started to get to her. But it doesn't seem like it's gotten to her at all. So she's doing great, except, you know, of course, for being sick. Uh, and as far as Wellington's goes, fingers crossed, he seems like he's, he's starting to get over it. Of course, last time I said that on, I think, the close-up this week, um, he immediately <laughs> got sick all night long, and I was worried all over again. So, you know, let's not uh, count our chickens, but I, he's, he's doing fine at the moment, and that's, that's good news, too. So that's the poop news. Uh, oh, and, uh, of course, um, uh, um, Serenity has also had some poop issues, and we did switch her to the rabbit food. And it seems like the rabbit food works about as well as the venison, maybe a little bit better for her, but we're still kind of trying to switch things around and find a food that doesn't give her really bad poops. So we're working on it. Uh, the good news is that she is starting to come around. She uh, came out of her room and went and hung out in the cat tree in the, in the sunroom for a long time this morning, which you can probably rewind and see some of. Uh, and then when I tried to approach her in the cat tree, she's, she's like Eddie except times two, where if she even sees me looking at her, she is running to hide. Uh, of course, just like Eddie, she loves to snuggle. It's just that her first instinct is always going to be to run away. So uh, so she ran straight back up to her room, though, and she was like at the door kind of pacing back and forth because it was closed. And she's like, I want to go in my room, but the door is closed. What do I do? So I had to very carefully, you got to approach her like you're approaching like a wild alligator or something. You're like you're holding your hand out and you're going, it's okay, it's okay. You walk up very slowly towards her, don't run away, it's all right. And then you open the door and she ran in and that was fine. So, uh, so she's back in her room right now. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, she can have free run of the house. Uh, she, the, tr the only trouble there, <laughs> little uh, uh, Bud is running on the cat wheel, that's pretty good. Uh, the only trouble there is that she is a hider and I know her one hiding spot right now is in the recliner in the sunroom. So it's easy for me to look there but I'm sure that she's going to find other hiding spots and I'm going to have a hard time figuring them out because she's very creative and super stealthy. Uh, if I'm following her around, like if she gets around a corner and I'm not already there, by the time I get around the corner, I have no idea where she's gone. And she is, she's tricky that way. She'll go where you least expect it. So uh, super stealthy. And if you don't 
like if I don't have my eyes on her, then she knows how to get all the way around me and go to places I wouldn't think she could get past me, and she will get past me every time, just a stealth expert. So, so she's extra tricky, um, but apart from being extra tricky, she gets along great with everybody. You know, she's just not going to approach anybody or be confrontational. So, uh, so as far as I'm concerned, she can run around the house as much as she wants. Uh, it just for her sake, I put her back in her room because she gets stressed out, you know. Uh, all right, enough about that. Uh, this is another postcard. Obviously, this one from Killarney, uh, Ireland, it says, in a very beautiful little building, I guess, with a beautiful garden. It says the Muckross House and Gardens. Uh, it says, Mr. A, DJ, and the KA World, I think. Uh, I know you like cards, so here's one from lovely Southwest Ireland, having a bit of a belated birthday vacation here, but wanted to include you folks a bit. I think that says, uh, I think that's what it says. I'll be home by the time you get this, but enjoy. Sadly, haven't seen any cats yet. Oh no. Uh, Ed, and it says, um, it's Ed, uh, it says, I'm not creative. It's Ed on Discord. So just Ed, just plain Ed on Discord. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty good actually. So Ed, thank you so much. It's so sweet of you guys to think of me, uh, or think of us when you are on vacation and to sort of include us in that way. I really do appreciate it. That's sweet of you. And it's a beautiful card. Okay. Uh, this is addressed to Shiny Butler and Dr. DJ at Kitten Academy. All right, then. And it's, uh, it says it's from Princess Paisley. Let's see. And there's quite a few things in here, so I'm trying to get them out without causing any damage. Aw, oh, Princess Paisley. There she is. She's got a beautiful heart uh, pendant that she wears. Oh, wow, lots of photos of Princess Paisley. All right, we'll just line these up here. Hopefully you get a chance to see them. Oh, those are so great. There we go. I don't think I've seen any of these photos of her. Uh, maybe, maybe you're using an actual film camera. These seem like they're printed on actual film stock. No, maybe not, freeprints.com. So uh, I was just going to say, I don't think I've seen, or maybe I just can't think of it, uh, any pictures of her on our magic photo frame, which DJ and I were just talking about how much we both love um, seeing how that's just constant of the alumni there. And it's, it's just, it's wonderful every day. Still, uh, these are great. I'm not complaining. These are fantastic photos of Her Royal Highness. Uh, so it says here, Dear Shiny Butler. Oh, the outside is just a little hello. Okay. Dear Shiny Butler, greetings and salutations. I am having my human mom translate for me, so that's how you're able to read this. The day this card hopefully arrives will be my second birthday, and one gift I requested was to write a letter to you to tell you how I am doing. I'm living my best life. I have so much fun zooming up and down the hall and the stairs, sitting in the tree by the window, and making sure no rogue bird makes its way into the house, and giving any new guests that come in the once-over before asking them for pets. I love to chase, run around, and hang out with my big brother, Oliver. I'm still trying to fully win over my big sister, Brooke, but I know that one day my charm will work. All in all, my life is amazing and I couldn't be happier. My humans love me very much, as do the humans in their lives. They all always tell me how beautiful and sweet I am. I always make sure to say hello to any new people that come over so I can be friends with them. I'm still the same silly, sassy princess, just bigger and stronger. Thank you for everything you did for my family, Shiny Butler. I will always love you. P.S. Happy birthday to my little brothers. Big Sis Paisley, Paisley loves you. Love, Princess Paisley. Aw, that's so sweet. Thank you guys so much. And of course, uh, Deidre, uh, Brandon, uh, uh, Brooke, and Oliver. Yes. That's, that's super sweet. There's also another photo of her inside here you can see. So I love that. Those are great pictures. Thank you so much for sharing that. I'm glad she's doing well. I can't believe, has it been, did you say second birthday? Has it been that long? Wow. Um, second birthday. Wow, it seems like she was just here yesterday. That is really something else. Uh... I don't know if I've mentioned it, but you know, there's that crown that we tried to take pictures. No, no, wait, I don't think it's the same one. Hmm. Well, what I was going to say is that there's a, a very heavy uh, crown that may or may not be the same one that we tried to take pictures of, of on Paisley uh, that um, I brought to our vet because our vet has uh, an old anatomical uh, cat skeleton set right out in front. 
um, sort of, you know, a veterinary thing. And um, because their logo is Aristocats and the cat has a crown on it, I thought it would be cute if they put uh, the crown on the cat, uh, which I brought them the crown, they put it on there, it fit perfectly, and that is where it is now. So I think it's cute. Uh, I can see there's a donation in here. How sweet. Uh, I don't want to show that off on accident on the stream, though. So, oh, and also this said, I wanted to read this part. It says, uh, okay to read on stream and okay not to. Your choice won't cause any hurts. That's really sweet. Um, so it says, hey, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and faculty, this is just a small token for me to help with the procedure that Teaspoon is looking forward to. Because you guys are fantastic and tea is precious. Or you can use this as you see fit. All my love and good vibes, Nene, 1956. Aw, thank you so much. That is, that is really, really kind of you, and I appreciate it so much. Um, I'm going to put that right in here with some of the other uh, donations so that it does not get filed away with the cards and the well wishes. Nene1956, thank you so much for that. That is, that is just really sweet of you. Uh, Little Teaspoon is also, uh, as, as you say about Princess Paisley, um, living his best life. Uh, that's a great phrase. So he has, uh, he's really been a good uh, sort of... Um, parent to our two little uh, kittens, too, to, uh, to Wellington and, um, and uh, Squall. He's, I think he's up there in their box with them right now, which is where he was last time I saw him anyway. And uh, he, just, he loves to just sit with them and snuggle and play and purr, and uh, they just get along great. They get along great with all the kittens. Even the, the older kittens take real good care of them, and they, they pull their punches. They love to wrestle, but they don't wrestle too hard for the little kittens yet. And I keep thinking about moving them back into the room with the medium kittens, with these guys. Um, but I, I, and every time I think that, okay, we can just move them in there and that, that'll be great, uh, I worry a little bit that although they, they do find in limited engagements that if we just leave them in there 24 hours a day, it might get to be overwhelming for them. Uh, but more than that, of course, the fact that they, they keep being sick, and I'd love for that to resolve before we think about bringing them together, uh, you know, full time. Um, but, uh, but it's definitely something that's on my mind, and I think it'll work out. They all, they all do seem to get along pretty well. So uh, now we've got um, a Spork running on the wheel. These kids all teach themselves to use the wheel, and uh, that's a pretty cool thing. Okay, I'd like to try to get through all of this today, but I'm already in full ramble mode. I'm pretty tired. Um, really, I'll, I'll be honest. I, again, I don't want this to be, it's not a complaint. It's just an explanation because I love every minute of what I'm doing. Uh, but to explain myself, I am awfully tired uh, hanging out with these kittens and trying to make sure that they're pooped and fed and all that is, it, it really takes a toll. And I'm so glad that we're finally starting to see them eat some food. And even use the litter box a little bit. And I don't know if I've said, the, but uh, the litter box training for the little two, the two little kids, has been complicated by the fact that if we have that sweet, sweet scoop, the kitty litter that we use for the very little kittens that might eat it, if we have that out where the oldest kitten, Spork, and his family can find it, Spork and Spatula and the others uh, all find it to be an absolutely irresistible toy. I mean, honestly, if I take them away and I'm like, no, 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 and I push them away from it, they immediately run back. They, they will not leave it alone for one second. And they throw it everywhere, and it just makes a huge mess. So I can't do litter box training for the little kittens and have the big kittens around at the same time. It, it doesn't work. Um, I don't remember why I started talking about that, but uh, um, there we are. So, okay, let's open some stuff. Uh, this is obviously from uh, Beans and Cheeto and Lisa G. Uh, I say obviously, yes, okay, I guess it is obvious to you too. You can tell because here are our uh, little stickers that are so familiar from all of her packages. And that means I think we can all guess what's probably in here. Let's see if we're right. Oh, somewhere in here. This is layers of uh, paper bag that I can't seem to find the right layers to find things in between. There we go. Hi, Maggie. What are you doing just sitting here, huh? There we go. It doesn't look like we've even got a... Oh, there is a note. There it is. All right, good. That's nice. Uh, the note is... It's actually a note. Look at that. Hey, good job. That's a goblet now on the wheel. Wow, really running for it. That's some serious running. 
It's funny about Goblet and uh, Ramekin, they're being adopted together, and you know, initially, initially I thought Goblet was going to be the one that was the most social and the most sort of people-oriented, uh, but it's turning out to be Ramekin instead. Uh, I was just talking the other day about how I found out Ramekin was sort of a stealth follower that would follow me around stealthily, so I wouldn't realize that she was following me looking for attention. But now that I've realized that, I pick her up when I get a chance and give her attention, and she she loves it, really. Uh, where this one is just, you can see a little more squirmy about it, a little bit more. Uh, and I'm surprised that, that Goblet came over here in the first place. She is uh, she's a little even a little bit harder than uh, Ramekin to, to get to come around lately. Of course, I predict that both of them are going to be completely people-oriented as soon as they uh, get to their new people and they don't have all the other cats to distract them all the time. So... Hi, bud. All right, this is a very cute little card. It's got two kittens uh, with their uh, let's, uh, fishing... Oh, bop, bop. Go away, Maggie. Oh, Maggie, I didn't mean for you to slide. Sorry. Um, they've got uh, fishing gear. They're, out, they're going out fishing, and it says going, going fishing. It's uh, super cute there. And it says, Hello, Kitten Academy. So glad to see the Teeny Tinies and Miss Serenity are doing better. Here's hoping they continue to thrive under your caring hands. Enclosed, please find the usual endowments. Thanks for all you do. Lisa, Cheeto, and Beans. Thank you so much. And yes, it is the usual. <laughs> it is the usual. You've sent laser pointers for the three of them. And you've got a little yelling Wellington here. <laughs> That's such a cute photo. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's adorable. Here you've got a little sad-looking squall, very cute, and Serenity, looking, of course, serene, and maybe a little angry. Uh, so thank you so much for these. Of course, these are all always wonderful. I'm sure that the uh, adopters appreciate having the, the laser pointers, and the kittens, I'm sure, appreciate it as well. I bet that uh, Serenity would be a real laser pointer chaser if we gave her a chance. I should try that out on her at some point. I've got my own, of course. Uh, I just rarely bring them out, so that could be interesting. Okay, uh, oh, I think this is from Charlie I, based on the packaging, and I think you said to open yours last, so I'm just going to set it aside. I don't know if you were joking or not, but we'll, we'll take that to heart. Uh, we will open it today, though, even if we end up pushing some of this stuff till tomorrow. Um, so, let's see, what's next here? Uh, we've got a whole bunch of drop shipments. The majority of this stuff is that... Let's open the big one here, the big heavy one, and that way maybe we've got a box to put stuff into. So let's start here with this giant thing. On the outside, it just says Kitten Academy Endowments, and that's all. So, oh, at least we know what it's for. Maybe inside there'll be a note that'll tell us who it's from. All right, I gotta work on my knife skills here. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I think I saw a note about this. Let's see if there's another note inside, though. Well, not yet. How fun, though. These are the, oh, there we go, the Magic Cat uh, ball tracks, and there are five of them in here. And the note says, for utensils and nibbles uh, and two more, it says. Uh, it says there are eight of them. Uh, from Lisa for Kittens. That's so sweet. Lisa for Kittens, thank you so much. These are uh, great ball tracks that we really enjoy having, and so do the kittens. These guys have enjoyed them quite a bit. I'll tell you, though, who's the biggest fan of the ball track so far is Teaspoon. It's, it seems like the ball track and the ball tower are his two favorite toys. Uh, those and, um, you know, the, the lounge chair with the palm tree that we have in the bedroom? He loves to sit on that and play with another cat. There needs to be another cat on top when he's underneath or underneath when he's on top. Uh, that's, a, that's a group toy. Uh, but for solo play, uh, he is all about the ball track and the ball tower. So he will definitely appreciate one of these. And I think the rest of them will, too. They're always a hit. So I said there's five of them in here, which is true. Uh, I'm not lying to you. Uh, but you say there's eight of them, so I'm guessing one of the other uh, Amazon boxes here is going to be the rest of them. And uh, we'll get to it. Let's open... Oh, I guess I can tell which ones they are because they probably also say Kitten Academy Endowments. And also if I shake them, there's a distinctive noise to these. So I think this is going to be one, five, six, seven, eight. We... Oh, I'm wrong. Wow. I am completely wrong. This is not a ball track at all. But it does say Kitten Academy Endowments, and there's a sheaf, an entire, like, uh, sheaf of notes here. 
which I'm trying to pick up all at once. Maybe I have to give up on that. No, I got them. Okay, cool. Look at that stack of notes. That's because there's a stack of things in here, but I think they all just say, oh, I see, eight of eight is, you sent eight different things, so maybe there's just five of those ball tracks coming. Because this says, utensils plus nibbles plus two more, uh, two of eight. And this says, utensils plus nibbles plus two more, eight of eight. And this says, six of eight. And this one says, five of eight. All right. And this one says, one of eight and four of eight and seven of eight, okay, and three of eight. Uh, oh, and this one doesn't say anything about that at all. These two say, whoa, my goodness, this is, comp uh, this one says cloth covered springs, one each, utensils and nibbles, and three more, nine of nine. And this one says cloth covered springs, one each, utensils and nibbles, and three more, four dash six of nine, uh, also from Lisa, uh, four kittens, of course. Um, that notation's a little confusing, but uh, we got to watch out for pirates now with all these pieces of eight around. Uh, yeah, keep an eye out. All right, so uh, as you said, though, let's see, you said utensils and nibbles and two more, and that must be referring to just these uh, the Fashions Talk cat toy set. It's a great cat toy set. I can see that it looks like the wand that they put in here is longer now. Uh, but it's a nice little wand with a metal rod on it so it doesn't ever break down. And then it's got a little clip on the end so you can clip various toys to it. I think that might be new too. I don't remember the old ones having the metal clip on the end. That's super nice. Uh, and it's, it's got a whole pack then of various feathers and attachments you can put on it, plus some little felt balls. And, uh, oh, and a door hanging. I can see there's a door hanging toy too that probably also has a clip on it so you can use the same toys. Wow, this is a new set um, of the Fashions Talk stuff, and I, th I think it's a big improvement. That's super cool. That's a, that's a great set. So you said one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. So maybe that's what the of eights are all about. And you also said that you sent, oh, there's a couple more notes here. Cloth covered springs, one each, Q utensils plus nibbles plus three more, one dash three of nine. So uh, that must be these cloth covered springs. Let's just take a look because some of you may not be familiar with them. I think they're the ones that are, they have like a little extra tail on one end as well. And they're, they're fun, they're fun toys. Yes, that's exactly what they are. So you can see each one of these bags has a few of them in there and it is a, a spring with a tail on it, just like I described. I don't know how I could have described that any better. So uh, those are great cat toys, by the way. They are going to love those as well. So um, thank you very much, Lisa, for kittens. I'm going to try to consolidate all of this into one box. So I'm just going to put these right back here for the endowments, which I still have to get sorted. I've been finding all kinds of ways to put off doing that hard work until the very last minute, which I guess is kind of, uh, I got to check the calendar tomorrow. Uh, I should I should mention this for anybody who's not on our Discord and wants to know, uh, but I'm just going to do it by checking the announcements. So I hope I have the right information in there. It looks like we've got um, Spork being picked up on the seventh. So that's Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. I think it's Wednesday. So uh, Wednesday the seventh, uh, coming right up. Spork is going to get picked up. Then it looks like uh, Ramekin and Goblet are getting picked up together on the 15th. And then we have Nibbles and Spatula getting picked up on the 7th of July. Um, so that is fun. And it means I've got until the middle of the week uh, to put this off until the last minute. Uh, let's try not to do that. But uh, at least I know that I have the option. Okay. This is addressed to Kitten Academy, and there is a name here that I think I can say uh, in the return address, but we're going to open it up first and see if there's a note. That way I don't say the wrong thing. Wow, somebody's really going to town on that space station ball track. Oh, I heard they don't make these anymore, so that's a rare toy for him to enjoy, her to enjoy. That is uh, Sprout in there, I think. Ooh, a knife garden, everything. These are cute toys in here. My goodness. Oh, and the note. Perfect. The note. All right. Let's try that again. 
Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, hello, you sure have been very busy the last several weeks. I'm so glad that things are making a turn for the better, that Serenity and the two tiny ones are getting better and stronger. I am sending mini blankets and toys for Puddles and all her little ones. That's you, bud. Uh, I have also included one for Serenity. I'm sending toys and treats to use as you see fit. I am also sending some goodies for you to go with your coffee. Oh, uh, thank you for all you do for all the little furry babies and mom cats from Rose, Tucker, Toby, and Tessa. Thank you so much, Rose and company. The toys you sent are super cute, and once again, you have packaged them uh, in such a cute way. So let's start with some of these that aren't packaged. Um, these are adorable. Wow, these are some very shiny fish uh, with bells. I have not seen these before, and they've got those strange little tubes I still don't know how to describe as their bodies. That's, uh, that's very interesting. So that's a fun toy. This guy is so cool. I, we've seen him once before. It is a lion with ribbons and a very shiny crown. And the crown is a separate piece, too, so you've got actually two toys here, the lion and the crown. But look at that lion. Isn't he great? Those, uh, that's the, the mane on that is fantastic, and there's a couple of those here. Uh, here we have, a, I don't know, uh, we've got a car. The license plate on the car is INSRD, like insured, and it comes with, for some reason, a salamander. I think that's a salamander. I don't know why you would put those things together, but there you have it. <laughs> we got two of those. That's super cute. Uh, we have... Uh, some weird shape that says purr, and it says it's a chirping toy. I don't know what it is. It, is it supposed to be something? It just looks like a chicken nugget or something, but it has a realistic chirping sound. Uh, and it just says chirping toy, so there's no clue here what this is supposed to be. Does this shape mean anything to anybody? Oh, you know what? I think it's just a, supposed to be a comic book bubble, and this is the little arrow that, that would point to the person's mouth, and this is like their bubble saying purr, maybe? Uh, that's what I'm going to go with, but then for some reason, if I pull the tab out, it will make a bird chirping toy uh, sound. I don't know why, but those are great toys. Uh, they'll keep you up all night. All right, this is a bar, uh, pack for Serenity, and in here we've got all the regular, uh, usual mice. We've got a really nice, real fur mouse. We've got this little thing. Let me pull this out for one second, because I just want you to see this. I don't know where this came from, but somebody should probably find out. Um, because this ball right here is, um, is, hey, is Puddles, uh, not Puddles, Nibbles' favorite toy in the whole world. We've got like two or three of these kicking around uh, with this same pattern on it that kind of looks like Nibbles. Uh, and she goes crazy bringing those to her kids and playing with them. And she will, if you ever hear her like standing in the hallway and just like yelling for her kids to come, it's because she's got that, that ball with her. Um, so... A uh, really good toy. Anyway, this pack is for Serenity, though, and we've got a, a little uh, catnip cat in here, and then, of course, you sent a blanket that's got these cute little owls on the one side, and you fold it over half so we can see uh, this gray print on the inside that's beautiful. So that's Serenity. Uh, then we've got one of those for each, but first there's two other things I have to open real quick. Uh, you have Stroop Waffle. Oh, yummy. Um, these are chocolate stroop waffle. Now that's a rare one. Those are going to be great. I can't. I don't think I've tried chocolate stroop waffle frozen yet. I think I told you though that frozen stroop waffle is my new jam. So those are going to be great to try out. And then uh, whatever this is, it's very heavy. Oh, I see. It's more chocolate stuff. <laughs> Uh, it is the Biscoff, it's uh, chocolate with little Biscoff bits in it. I, I, somebody sent this a little while ago. It is way too good. I'm absolutely going to eat that way more than I ought to. I'm concerned about what he's playing with there. It looks way too much like a little string or uh, something that you shouldn't have. What do you got? It's a rubber band. Yeah, that's definitely something you shouldn't have. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take that away. And then you also sent Cadbury Caramello, which is a chocolate bar that has a very, like, um, liquidy caramel inside. Uh, and I know I've told this story before, so I'm not going to get too rambly about it. But um, when I was a kid, uh, I ate way too many of those. I will just say that. And if you already know the story, uh, there's a little bit more to it than that. It's a very embarrassing story. Um, 
Yeah. Well, I'm just going to leave it at that. You know what? You either know or you don't. And uh, maybe if you don't know, someday you can ask me and I'll explain the whole thing. Um, but I probably will still eat it, even though I should be put off them for life at this point. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for the chocolate and the Stroop waffles. Uh, oh, look at that. There's some extra little treats and toys stuffed in here that I didn't see before we get to the rest. There's some Shiba meaty sticks. There's these, oh, these are perfect little wands for keeping near the bedside to play with the, the kittens with. Oh, that's so great. Wow. There's a couple of those. Oh, and a couple more meaty sticks. All right. Now, let's take a look at all the blankets. You've sent these for each. Uh, we've got the, ba the bag for Squall, which has all the same stuff in it. And it has this, oh, this beautiful little flower print, a uh, fl uh, pinkish flower print on the inside. Really pretty for Squall. We've got one here for Wellingtons. Wellingtons has these uh, colorful woodland creatures on it. We've got a fox and a bear. And then this rainbow print, that it's, uh, that's really pretty. You do a great job matching these colors and prints together. Uh, this is, whoops, this one is Sprout. And Sprout has uh, little sheep, little very fluffy, I think, lambs, maybe, uh, sheep. I don't know. We've got some cows. Uh, oh, we have Humpty Dumpty, because it says Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, and he is sitting on a wall. And then uh, we have here this yellow print, so that's perfect. We have one for Drizzle that has, it appears to be the same uh, sheep on it, but no Humpty Dumpty. And a pink uh, print. Maggie, you are in the way. Don't hiss at any kittens either. Maggie, what are you doing? I know, you want to play with all the toys. Uh, we have Brawly gets this pink with pink elephants. We have Bud gets uh, a sort of a blue cow jumping over the moon and then a Fruity Pebbles print. There we go. Cow, Fruity Pebbles. Uh, we have Raindrop. And Raindrop has, uh, it looks like little rainbows with flowers kind of and bumblebees. Uh, maybe it's just a garden with little loops and bumblebees. And then a gray inside. Beautiful. I love those little bumblebees. They look so happy. And then this one has the uh, the the um, nursery rhyme on it. The cow jumped over the moon. The dish ran away with the spoon, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And that's for puddles with a gray inside. Those are great. I love the way that you match these prints together because they go together so well. I'm going to put these back into your box because they fit so perfectly in there when you sent them. I don't know if they will now. I never get stuff put back in the right way. Okay, let's try it. Perfect. And then we can just set that whole thing aside to go down and be distributed uh, sometime before Wednesday. <laughs> All right. Set it behind me for the moment and keep rolling. All right. Thank you so much, by the way. Uh, the rest of these toys, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll put them back in the endowment box for now and then we'll see. All right, Maggie, stop biting kittens. You know better. All right. Let's put these in here. And I want to keep at least one of these to go upstairs with me, though. I like the orange one. We'll try that and put it right here in my pocket. Okay. Well, that's not going to attract any kittens. Okay, let's see here. We've got this from, I think we all know who this one is from, don't we? It's, I think it's almost a weekly event now. Our box from the B&B &B Sisters. So, uh, if we can get it open carefully. There we go. Let's take a look at their note. Always the most exciting part. And the note is... Oh, so cute. It is a, it's a tiny kitten. Um, and it's a, this is an actual photograph, although I'm positive the components have been photoshopped together. It really is convincing. It looks, uh, it looks completely real. It's a black and white photo of a cat sitting on a kitchen counter... Uh, on a cutting board, and he's got a rolling pin, and he's got a, um, a soup ladle or a big spoon that is, uh, he's using the rolling pin then as a lever, turn the spoon into a teeter-totter, and he's using it to launch a mouse into the air. Uh, and then in the background, it's set with a little pot and some flowers, so you can tell that it's a kitchen scene. Uh, that's such a great photo. My goodness, it says, photographic uh, image courtesy of Rex Features. I don't know if Rex Features is a, the name of a company or a guy. Uh, if it's a guy, that's a great name. Rex Features. Wow. Uh, anyway, that's, that's such a cool uh, photo slash Photoshop. 
Uh, it, you know what? It reminds me of uh, like a dolly almost, except it's not quite as surreal, but that's the kind of thing that he tried when he got into photography a little bit. Um, okay. Hello to all at Kitten Academy. B&B sisters here. We recently went on a two-week road trip from Illinois to Washington down the coast of Oregon and into Northern California before heading back home. That is a long trip. My goodness. Um, that, uh, that reminds me of when I was a little kid, my parents made that same trip, I think probably from Washington to Illinois. Um, but I remember they rented an RV and, uh, it was, uh, for me as a little kid, it just, uh, like a super uncomfortable trip, but I will never forget the RV. And I was just a little tiny kid. Uh, anyway. Along the way, we thought of you, Mr. A, and tried to get a local paper in each state we went through. Oh, how cool. We were not entirely successful, but did manage to get quite a bit. Unfortunately, they're at the bottom of the box, and you'll need to go through the food blankets and toys first. <laughs> That's so cool. Sorry, but there are lots and lots of toys. As you know, we really love spoiling the sweet kittens and cats at Kitten Academy. As always, the toys and blankets are to be used as you see fit. During those two weeks, we thought of you often, and it made us appreciate the extraordinary, extraordinary measures you and Dr. DJ go through for the kittens. Again, thank you and Dr. DJ for all you do. The B&B sisters, Beatrice and Bernadette. It's so sweet of you guys to think of me while you were on your trip. I love that you picked up local papers in every place you passed through. How special. Um, and uh, just to share an anecdote, uh, the, the reason I say that RV trip was so uncomfortable is my mom has, you know, always been the animal person. I, that's uh, surely why I foster kittens now is uh, due to her influence on me. But she had every kind of animal and especially dogs uh, when I was growing up. And just the one thing that I remember, and I don't know why from that trip, is that she had... Um, uh, in the in the back of the RV somewhere, there was uh, one of those fences, like the one that you see me put up for the cats sometimes, a wire, uh, you know, like like fence that folds up. And uh, I just remember I had to, I, maybe it was the way it was sitting, or maybe she had to lay it on the floor so it wouldn't fall over on the trip or something. But I just remember trying to walk on it and how awful it was to try to stand on that wire with my little feet. Um, and I don't know, I don't know why. It's just that's the one that's the one thing I remember about it. Hmm. Yeah, uh, strange, strange little memory. Uh, I'm sure it was for her dogs, though. It must have also been on the trip, and I don't remember at all. Uh, I think I can guess which dogs it was, but that's neither here nor there. So, uh, let's see. We've got, um, we've got a cat with some butterflies. This is so pretty. Oh, a couple kitties uh, with some butterflies. That's weird, though. How are they positioned? Is this uh, one picture? Oh, there we go. Spread it all out. Oh, one of them is laying on his side to get the butterfly. How cute. Oh, those little kittens are so cute. Maggie, do you want to sit on this? All right, here. Oh, I was going to try to get it over her and see how she would like that as a game. Oh, maybe she doesn't. Okay. I'm sorry, Maggie. Okay. I'm sorry. That's not a fun game. Oh, but she does want to play with the blanket. You just want to play. Oh, my goodness. So riled up. Uh, I see a fish came out with that, too. What a cute little fish. Pounce toy. It looks like a real uh, little fish. And then, as usual, you send all the cute little toys. We've got here a Taco Fiesta pack from Meyer. Uh, that's so cute. It's got an avocado, hot sauce, a taco, and a pinata. That's, uh, that's super cute. Here we have a very bright red bird made out of some sort of, like, uh, nylon that probably will last forever. Very cute. It's very pretty, too. We've got uh, like a weird dragon. I do see it's like a dragon with little, it says twisty dragon kicker, and it's got little purple wings on it. And the, what a cute little dragon head. I think it might be a little bit too much like a reptile for DJ to want it around the house. Uh, but it'll be, excuse me, great in endowments. We have a Meyer fish taco kicker, and it is a fish taco. If I got a fish taco like this, I think I'd have to send it back. It's got a head and a tail, uh, but that's super cute. We have a cool cactus pack with a little tall cactus and a little, little cactus. It's a little tall cactus. Yep, that's how it works. Wow, so many toys. Um, here we've got the Petco Love cat toy set. And uh, we've got, uh, doesn't this look like the character from um, Bojack? Uh, what's, what's her name? I can't think of her name. Um, it's not going to come to me either, but wow, it looks just like her head. We've also got a little mouse wearing a t-shirt that appears to say cat on it. That's weird. 
Uh, does it say, it says, cool cat. The mouse, the mouse is wearing a t-shirt that says cool cat on it. <laughs> That's so funny. And then we've got a cute little uh, ball here with a bell on it. That's adorable. There's a really cute lion. Oh my gosh, his face is so cute. It's too much. Uh, and it's got a, um, like a hair tie elastic band on it so you can pull it back and shoot it like a, uh, like a rubber band gun. Uh, so it's called Launch and Chase, and he's got a cute little face. That's adorable, and it's got the same kind of ball on here. I wonder if uh, Nibbles would go for this and start carrying it around or not. That would be an interesting thing to find out, wouldn't it? Uh, we've got a squeaking mouse with some cute fur on it. We have some parody products. We've got Big G's Deli Ham Cups. Ew, <laughs> Deli Ham Chocolate Cups. Uh, Shenanigans Coffee. So cute. The W's and W's are right over there. I can see them by the cat door. I love the W's and W's. Uh, we've got a squeaking uh, cardinal. Maggie wants to take that toy out and try it right now. We have a star and rocket ship toy. I love that little rocket ship and star. That's a great motif. We have uh, corduroy mice with feather tails. We have burlap mice. Well, not all burlap. One burlap, uh, all with little rope tails and floof balls on them. Wow, those are great toys, too. We have a kitty paw cat milk tuna cherry flavor. Oh, that's so cute. Deborah Ann Marie handmade personalized cat and dog toys. Deborah Ann Marie Studio.com. That's adorable. Wow, that's uh, pretty quality. Oh, there's another one here kitty paw cat milk mouse flavored. All right, milk and cherry and mouse flavors. Uh, we have an ice cream. We have another ice cream. Oh, mint. Mm. With sprinkles. We have a uh, little uh, Nemo. We found him. We have an oh, chocolate ice cream. Okay, all the ice creams. We have a pack of stitched, stitched mice from Meyer again. I miss Meyer. Wow. Old mice deodorant. Oh, this might be the best. Uh, this is also from Deborah Ann Marie Studio. That's so cute, though. Old Mice 24-hour mouse scent, and it's got the Old Spice uh, style to it. Old Mice. Uh, that's that's a, that's great. I love it. We have a remote control with buttons for Netfish and Bird TV, also from the Deborah Ann Marie Studio. Uh, and another, a very colorful little betta fish, I think. A bag full of the Charlie Balls. Always a hit around here. Uh, they end up playing with these things until they are worn out, and they end up eating the tinsels and then sometimes pooping them out, um, which is probably not the best thing, but the tinsel, I think, is short enough to be perfectly safe. Um, but yeah, um, recently, DJ has had me pull tinsel uh, from a kitten um, from the other end. <laughs> uh, all right, we got a pack of fish here, little sardines. Wow, so many toys. My goodness. Uh, you've given me a lot of extra work to do at the endowment, um, which is great. That's not a complaint. Uh, here we have a bag of birds, which I recognize because these birds all look so realistic. we got a little budgie or a parakeet. Uh, what is this, a blue jay? Is that a blue jay or a jay of some kind, right? That's what that is. I know the cardinal for sure. And it looks like another or one of these little green parakeets, uh, like the ones in the Chicago Park I always mention when I see this same set. It's a great set. They look so cute. <clears throat> Excuse me. Those will be a big hit. Okie dokie. Oh, uh, we've got here, yep, rattle mice with feather tails, the fancy kind. All right. Uh, we've got some more blankets. Hang on. i got to get this coffee out of the way so we don't put a blanket in it. I hope that swallowing sound didn't sound too entirely clear on the mic, uh, which is right there. Oh, we got two very cute little kitties uh, sniffing flowers in a basket. That's a beautiful painting. <clears throat> All right. And, oh, but wait, there's more. Uh, we have a pillow? No. Oh, it's just a very floofy blanket. Wow. So, so floofy. Um, Wow, on the back, it's got this wonderful Sherpa, and this one says, Impress Me Human. Uh, and then it's got all these uh, cat memes on it, actually. Stay classy. Uh, you work, I watch, and judge. Yes, I'm the boss. This, this is very cute. This is, uh, it's wonderful, and it's so floofy. The kittens are going to love that. 
Okay. Uh, I love that. Those are cute little memes, too. And nice color scheme. That's, that's beautiful. Okay. Uh, one more blanket here. Uh, hang on now. Oh, wow. Look at those eyes. Very stunning. Uh, with some roses, I see. That's beautiful. I love these colors. Uh, beautiful cat blanket. Okay. Hang on now. Okay. We also have Nulo, uh, the turkey and chicken recipe. So that's exactly what everybody's eating. I don't know if you heard, we got to the bottom of the mystery about why these cans look different than the ones that we have. It's because Nulo markets what appears to be the exact same food under three or four different brands based on which market it goes to. So, you know, whether it's like a high-end pet store or whether it's Amazon, uh, they just change the packaging a little bit. So uh, that is why. But as far as I can tell from reading the ingredients and the caloric content and uh, just looking at it, it is the identical food. So just thought I'd tell you we solved that mystery that I know came up once before. I'm going to stretch out my leg a little bit here, so we're going to do that. Finally, at the very bottom of the box, we, oh, we've reached it. Look at that. We've got two packages of newspapers. Oh, man. I wish I had the time to go through all of these with you, um, but I probably don't. I just want to take a look real quick and see, uh, okay, if I can tell where they're from quickly enough. Uh, let's see. Well, not really. We have the Mitchell Republic. We have the Star Tribune, um, and I don't know where either of those are from because they don't say. They just assume. I mean, they're local papers, so they expect if you're there, you know where you are. <laughs> they don't have to all tell you, do they? Uh, which is fine. That's, that's another charming thing about it. Here we have one that's the Country Register, Minnesota's Guide to Specialty Shopping. A beautiful butterfly on it. <clears throat> Ooh, we have... The Old Times in Glenwood, um, Minnesota, I think. And uh, look at these cat sculptures on it. Huh. What? Uh, pottery, Siamese marked Doge, 7 inches high, 20 to $30. Uh, that's a weird thing to have marked on there, though, especially considering that it's a cat. D-O-G-E, it says. Hmm. Uh, maybe that is the name of a studio that makes uh, things. So catnip for collectors, that's going to be fun. We have the Martin County, the voice of the Upper Skagit Valley, the Concrete Herald. Wow, Concrete Herald. All right. Um, we have the Pennington County Current. Current? Current? I don't know. Uh, there's a fold there, so I'm not going to try to put these things together. Uh, the Western Heritage presents Newcastle Legacy Series. Wait, no, that's a that's an ad. They don't even put their... A publication of NLJ? Newcastle News? No, that's exactly what it is. Welcome to another publication of Western Heritage, the newsletter journal's presentation of Weston County's rich history. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Uh, we've got the News Times. All right, great name from... Oh, NewportNewsTimes.com. All right. Um, Thriftway is having a produce sale. I thought you might want to know. And we have the Desiree News. Ooh, midweek in the principled illuminating news. Um, don't miss comics and puzzles, obituaries, legals, and classifieds. Wow, they put that like, don't miss our fascinating obituaries. Oh my goodness. All right, this is going to be super fun. I'm, I'm really looking forward to all of it. Thank you so much for thinking of me and for picking these up along the way. That's so sweet of you. I hope you had a wonderful trip, um, and uh, you sort of brought me along on it. I get to have the same trip now, and without having to stand on top of a dog uh, grate, um, or whatever you'd call it, dog fence? Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right, let's put all this back in here. We're going to send this downstairs for now, because uh, I've got so much to go through. Um, I really appreciate it, and this is going to fill out those endowments really well. I especially love that old mice, though. I might have to set that aside when I'm handing out the endowments and uh, put it out here like the W's and W's that I thought were so funny. Old mice. Ah, it's great. That's a great pun. I love a pun. All right. There we go. I also like old mice. Old spice. I don't know. I, I know I've mentioned that in the past. I'm not like, I don't think I would go around wearing it. I do once in a while actually wear it just because I want to smell it. Uh, but it's always one, with my, one of my dad's standards was Old Spice, so it always makes me think of my dad. So when I have a nostalgic day, sometimes I'll get it out. Uh, that's why I have it. 
Okay, um, let's see now. How are we doing? 1055. But these are mostly drop shipments, so I think they're going to go pretty fast. I think we should just push through. So, uh, so let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, Steph, care of Kitten Academy. All right, Steph. Let's see here. Oh, oh wow, we got a cute little set of catnip animals of various sorts. There's a, an alligator, a bear holding a honey pot, uh, some sort of a mouse or something holding a persimmon, an elephant holding a banana. Um, this must be a, koala, uh, a panda bear holding a bamboo. So how come of all of these, the only one not holding anything is the alligator? That poor guy doesn't get anything. Wow. Hmm. All right, well, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Steph says, for Squall and Wellingtons to be deployed now if they like them from Steph. Oh, Steph, that's so sweet. They have a little bit of trouble tracking toys right now, so I don't think they're quite ready uh, for them. But I am going to write Squall and Wellington on it so that we make sure it goes to the right kids in due time. I'm just going to write S and W because that's how I've been noting them on the weight chart. So I will know exactly who that means or else I'm going to think that I have to send these to the southwest. I guess that's also possible. Never know what I might be thinking once it comes time to sort these things. <laughs> that's why I have to try to be so careful to kind of keep things organized here. Okay, Steph, thank you so much. That's so nice of you to think of Squall and Welly. Okay. Uh, here we've got some cute dog and cat blankets. These are very soft little blankets with paw prints on them in a red, a brown, and a white. Uh, but there's no note, so, and it just says Kitten Academy. So whoever sent this, thank you so much. We go through so many blankets here, uh, especially lately when we've had so many disgusting accidents. Oh my goodness. Um, those kids have been living upstairs on our bed, and some of those poops have been just awful and go everywhere. Um, oof. It's like, imagine, you wouldn't be at all far off if you imagine like if you were on your bed and you took like a, a Diet Coke can and you shook it up and then you opened it, it's exactly like that. The color, the spray, the carbonation, uh, everything except the smell and the flavor. It's exactly like that. So it's been, it's been a challenge. We've been doing a lot of laundry. I'll say that. Okay. Uh, this says, enjoy your gift. Uh, send one feather flip home with Wellingtons and one with Squall from Jackie. Jackie, thank you so much. What is a feather flip? Oh, ooh. Oh, these look like fun. I don't think I've seen these before. It says soft and quiet on it. Uh, oh, and these are the feather flips. Okay. Well, then, uh, let's see. There must be another note, and indeed there is. The baddie boing is for the teeny meowers play area. From Jackie. Oh, wow. I think this will be great. Look at that. It's exactly like the spring toy that we have for the bigger kittens, except it's super tiny miniature spring toy. Uh, that's fun. And it's got feathers coming out of the top. They are going to love that. In fact, I think we should maybe give it to them right away, although I don't know for sure that they'll know what to do with it. Maybe the big kids will just end up stealing it, but I don't think that's a problem if they do. So let's add it to my pocket of toys to go somewhere right now. And then this... I can see it's going to have to, to wait a little bit longer, but you say, these are the feather flips. You say give one each to Squall and Wellington. And uh, the cool thing about it, Jackie, is that the feathers here are Velcroed on. So they can tear them off, which might be even more fun for them to tear them off, and then you can put them back on. Thanks for getting in the way there, Custard. Okay, I'm going to write S and W on this, too, so that we don't forget that this is for Squall and Welly. I've got to write it someplace where I'm really going to notice it, though. Uh, S and W... Okay, perfect. All right, we'll put that back there for the moment. What are you digging in there for, huh? Hopefully, uh, that, that is uh, obvious enough for me to see when it comes time. Oh, everybody's in every box. Wow, we got kittens in boxes everywhere. Okay. All right, we're in the lightning round now. Let's, uh, let's keep it rolling. This says Kitten Academy Endowments. So we know this has got to be in part of that same set from Lisa for Kittens. Or at least we, we don't know that, but we assume it. Let's find out. Indeed, it is Magic Cat Ball Tracks. I think we could have predicted that. Of course, I did try to predict that once already and was wrong. So we might have predicted it. Um, and we've got three of those here, which I do believe adds up to eight. There we go. Um, 
And the note in here says Q-tensils plus nibbles plus two more, five of eight. Okay, perfection. I'm going to try to pile those on top of this box where it has all the kittens in it. Wow, I've got a goblet in the box. We got a, uh, a drizzle in the box. And now we're just going to put these on top so that I can carry that all down together. So great. Those ball tracks are going to be much appreciated. Lisa, four kittens, thank you very much. All right, now you kids can get in the box all you want. It's plenty of room. Oh, Teaspoon's here, and he's rolling around in Custard's bed. That must be why Custard got up. <laughs> he's, he's really enjoying it. He's rolling on his back. I need to get a picture of him upside down. Oh, if I have I didn't get there in time. Did not get to it in time. You're going to roll around some more, buddy? Come on, keep rolling. Keep rolling. He's not rolling anymore. Now he's digging. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I put the thing down and he's going to roll again. All right. Oh, oh, hey, this must be related. Oh, this must be related to those bags of bird seed that came. I did not expect this. Wow. Hang on now. I did not expect this at all. What does it say? Uh, oh, so cool. So hang on. There's three notes here. Let's see if we can get them in the right order. Okay. How cool. Wow. Okay. So I mentioned that bird seed. I didn't know this was coming. It says, here are bird feeders to create kitty TV for nibbles, puddles, and serenity. Properly placed, these feeders will give the moms hours of entertainment. Um, Niobe rates these feeders at five cardinals, while Bjorn only gives them two squirrels. The other two cats in the house give them two paws up. Uh, bird seed is on its way, but may arrive next week from Skog Cat and Almond Roy on Discord from Niobe and Bjorn, too. Uh, Skog Cat and Almond Roy, a uh, great name, by the way. I love a pun. Uh, thank you so much for the, the window bird feeders with the suction cups. Uh, that's really fun. So we can put these on the, um, uh, some of the birds, up uh, uh, some of the birds. We can put it on some of the birds. No, we can put it on some of the windows. Now, I know your intention was to have us put them on the windows that are up in the annex uh, where the kittens are, which makes a lot of sense. The trick is that with the exception of uh, this window behind me, the big picture window, uh, this window right here, and the windows in the sunroom, uh, all of the rest of the windows in the house have the screens on the outside. So it's not really possible to suction cup anything to them on the outside. Uh, but that doesn't mean these won't get used. I think they would be great. Uh, I think it would be really fun to put one right here in front uh, on the window. That could be really cool. And uh, we could... He just walked away with that, that toy. How did you even get it out? Uh, <laughs> just, it's the other one of these. Uh, the, the toys that I said would be really fun. Apparently so. Uh, who is that? I said he. That looks like it's uh, um, Spatula, though, that just walked away with the other one. We'll get it back later. Uh, anyway, so uh, one of them could probably go in the picture window. I'll think about doing that, or we could put one, instead of having this standing thing out here, we could put one on this door and try to get the birds to come right up to this door, which would be perfect if we could. And uh, putting one on the sunroom windows also makes sense, so we'll find ways to deploy these. Uh, one way or the other, thank you so much. Uh, it's wonderful. A cute little bird feeder, too. Hmm. Uh, so uh, I think they're really going to enjoy that. And uh, that, that's, that's great. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, let's see here. I guess we're moving right along. Okay, I'm going to push this off this direction. Whoop. Okay. Uh, I think that leaves us with... Uh, oh, there's, there's so much more. Okay, let's... We are going to get through it, though. Let's, let's do it. Oh, wait. I see a note that just came in, I think, from Skog Cat. Oh, the bird feeders are for endowments. Oh, perfect. Oh, that makes it all work out just great, then. Excellent. Uh, that's so wonderful. Okay. Uh, the mousies are for any and all mom cats and kittens endowments. Oh, these are the great little mice that are fun to play fetch with. Please give them all kisses on their sweet heads from Minion Lisa. Aw, Minion Lisa, that is so sweet of you. Uh, thank you very much for sending these. Smarty Cat Skitter Critters. These are like the ones that Logan loves to play fetch with. Those will be great. So I will put those over here with the rest of the stuff that's going down for endowments. 
That's really nice of you. Of course, you know you do enough for us already. Oh. Okay. All right, let's see. This is a weird little flat package. Let's see what could be in here. Oh, interesting wrapping, too. Thought this would make for a cute photo op for Serenity. Okay, good. I don't want to promise anything, but I did spend some time yesterday setting up a photo shoot, which hasn't actually had any photos. Oh, I did get some pictures of Custard, too, because he would not stay away from it. But, uh, yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, oh it's, a sh it's a hat. It's a shark hat. You can see it's got a shark fin on it, and it kind of has something here to make you think of shark teeth. Uh, it's got a little uh, tie on the bottom so you can tie it around the head. And it's got two big holes to put the ears through. So this will stick up right on top of the head in between the ears. Uh, that's really cute for a little serenity. Um, thank you so much. Um, and uh, this is from... Uh, I give credit to the wrong person, but I also don't want to say your full real name. I think it's from Mishi on uh, Discord. Uh, tell me if that's right on Discord. And if it's not, um, I don't know. Let me know. I can never remember these things. Uh, that is so cute. I'm going to put that in my pocket, too, so it can, at, at the very least, go up to where the, the uh, props are for photos. Uh, Serenity, um, I don't, I was just thinking this morning as I was looking at that photo shoot I've got set up about how I would love to get some great photos of Serenity, but I imagine out of all of them, she's going to be just like, you remember when I tried to take pictures of, um, uh, was it, was it Buttons? It was one of those, um, was it Buttons? You know, it was Myth. It's Myth I'm thinking of. When I tried to take pictures of Myth and all I have are like pictures of her her butt as she's jumping off of the, the stand that I'm trying to take her picture on. Uh, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was Myth. Anyway, I, I think that Serenity is going to be like that, but even worse, uh, even more difficult. So we'll see what we can do. I might just have to take a picture of her in situ, you know. Uh, all right. Oh, here we go. So now we know what this is all about because it says here... Three blankets, one each for Squall and Wellingtons, and the third one perhaps for Serenity from Steph. Deploy as you see fit. I know you can never have too many blankets, especially in recent times. That's funny. That's exactly what I said. Uh, there is something else in here, too. I'm going to use this to try to... There we go. Pull that tab out. Ooh, even more blankets. Look at those. These also have paw prints on them, but these are uh, more of a polar fleece style. Uh, these are more of a, um, uh, I don't know what you would call it. Uh, anyway, these are great. And as you say, yes, you can never have too many blankets, especially recently. So thank you for those. Uh, for now, I've got to put these away somewhere. I'm going to, I guess I'm going to stack them right here. Okay. Yeah, oh, three different sizes too. Wow. Okay. Cool. I'm going to put that right back there. All right, this uh, says LFS as you see fit, but card is for Maggie. Well, that's interesting. How is there a card in here? Let's find out. Oh, well, it's a brand new card. I see. You just sent a card. To Maggie has been in here desperate to play this whole time, and of course now she can't nowhere to be seen. Uh, when we find oh, she's right there. She's decided to settle down. Maggie, now's your chance. Now's your chance to shine. And she's settled down. Well, I'm sure she will get to this. Uh, this must be the card, though. And it, Oh, oh, my goodness. It's got little tiny butterflies on it. It's so cute. And that's exactly perfect for her to tear up. Um, hopefully, she gets it. Maggie, what do you think of that? Look, look at this. What do you think of that? Do you want it? <sighs> Bad timing. All right. Well, that's fine, though. Uh, LFS. All right. Thank you so much. By the way, LFS, I believe, is who sent all of those waterproof blankets originally. And uh, Logan's been on a real run lately, and so have uh, at least one of the medium kittens. And those waterproof blankets have been invaluable. Uh, so thanks again for those. Okay. So you also sent this cute, weird owl toy. And... Uh, this is some sort of a kitty cat play toy that also has a mirror on it. How fun. You know, cats can have a lot of fun with a mirror, especially the first time they see one. And I know it looks cloudy, but that's because it's got a protective thing on it, which I'm not going to peel off yet. Uh, and the rest of it appears to be, uh, oh, I see. It's like a little play mat or hanging up thing. I guess, 
Um, hmm. Aside from the mirror, I don't know what this is actually intended for. Does it have a... It doesn't have any sort of a clue on it, does it? No, it does not. Hmm. Interesting. But uh, I can see that it would make a great little play mat for, for kittens to play with. That's fun. Uh, we also have what appears to be one mouse and then the cutest thing I was saving for last, a pin to add to my pin collection that has a mom cat, a little gray mom cat with a heart carrying a little tiny gray baby in her mouth. And that is adorable. I'm going to put that right here with the stuff I need to put away uh, with our stuff because that is perfect. This I'm going to move back here uh, to the pile of stuff that's going downstairs. All right, two more boxes, and then I get to clean everything up. Look out there, Custard. We made it through. Oh, Custard, why? Why, though? Buddy. All right. I'm definitely not left-handed. <laughs> all right. There we go. Maggie, stop hitting kittens. My goodness. Ooh. All right. Well, this is very yellow. It's all yellow. Everything in here, even though it's unrelated to it, it's all yellow. Let's see. I am sending two of these extra large and medium. The extra large to be deployed for general use with the faculty and current mom, cats, kittens. See how many they can fit in once or just stick one custard in there. He was trying to get in ahead of time. Uh, I didn't, I, now I, I can tell what they are. Uh, hang on. I don't know what you use when giving the tiny, tiny's baths, but I saw this and thought it might be worth trying when you need it. Seems to have good reviews for kittens in general. And these are all from, once again, Steph. Uh, Steph, thank you so much. So, what you sent here appears to be a banana bed. Uh, hi, okay, it is. It's a banana bed. This is the size that we've seen before. It's a banana. Uh, I've never seen this size, which is a giant banana. Uh, that's way too much fun. Uh, we've got a couple beds out right now, but I do want to put this out and let them all have fun in it. Um, just wondering where the right place to put it might be. We do have some extra room upstairs in the bedroom if DJ will let me put a banana in there because uh, we took the rocket out and a banana would go really well next to that palm tree, wouldn't it? I'm going to bring this upstairs and see what DJ thinks. Uh, how am I going to bring it up there, though? I guess we're just going to set it right there for now. And then this, the small one, you said what? Um, uh, you didn't say, actually, so I guess it's for future use. I will put it back here. Okay. Uh, and then the thing you said that we could try using is Burt's Bees Kittens Tearless Shampoo. Well, that's perfect. Um, we normally just put, I think, a little bit of uh, dish soap like Dawn in a... Uh, DJ loves to give them baths in a bowl. So what DJ does is gets out two big bowls and she gets the water temperature just right. And in one of them, she puts a little tiny bit of soap and foams it up. And in the other one, she just leaves plain water. And what she'll basically do is dunk the kitten in, in the soap and sort of, you know, uh, scrub it a little bit and then put it in the warm water. They usually enjoy that quite a bit. I know that DJ will love using this instead of the, the uh, dish soap. So that is a perfect thing for us to try. Uh, Burt's Bees Tearless Kitten Shampoo. So that's also perfect. I'm going to set that over here so that also gets put out with our stuff. Okay. Uh, Custard, you are on the last box I have to open before Charlie's box here. Okay, so. Buddy, i got to get in there. I'm sorry. I know, I know. He's about due to get his next dose of that new uh, medicine. He's, he's still acting pretty kittenish, though. I have to remember to call on Monday and set that up for him. Ooh, all right, some more very interesting cat toys in here. And what kind of note do we have? Let's find out. To Sweet Serenity and all kittens friends uh, from Jody Lynn and my kitten Serenity Grace. Wow, Serenity Grace, what a great name. Uh, Sweet Serenity, enjoy you play with this fun toy. Now my kittens and cats have this toy from Jody Lynn and my kittens and my two mom cats. Wow, Jody Lynn. And then I think there's one more note. Enjoy your gift to mom puddles uh, from Jody Lynn and my two mom cats, Jennifer and Lily. Well, Jody Lynn, thank you so much. I don't necessarily know which thing goes with which note. But uh, we'll figure it out, or if you want to send me another note to let me know, that would be fine, too. To Sweet Serenity and All Kittens Friends from Jody Lynn and My Kitten uh, Serenity Grace. Okay, so 
what we have here is a cat tunnel, uh, and they do need a cat tunnel. Oh, this one has been... Uh, it, uh, this packaging is going to need a wash. I don't know what got on this. Something got on it. Uh, but it seems like it's sealed in, so maybe that's just on the packaging. Uh, there's definitely something on there, though. I'm going to have to go wash my fingers, because who knows what that could be. Uh, anyway, cat tunnel for your cats. Thank you, and thank you to Amazon, whatever you got on there, Amazon. Good work. Uh, this is... Uh, a marshmallow bed, a rainbow marshmallow bed. Oh, that's great. I'm not going to open it because it's so nicely packed right now. Uh, this, I'm actually going to take that, that tunnel over to the sink, I think. It seems like some kind of soap or something on there. I don't know. Uh, this has a pop-up tent in it and also a whole bunch of cat toys, including a wand. I see some mice, a whole bunch of balls. That is a wonderful set of toys. Uh, Smarty Cat... No, that's not it. Um... This is the Super Pet. All right. Oh, Custer's going to try to play with Ramekin. That was cute. He made a little play noise and everything. You don't hear that from Custard too often. All right, this is the llama, by the way. So there's the cute little... Oh, he's chasing all the kittens. And he is trying to play. I hope they realize that because it's so fun for Custard to get a chance to play with kittens again. Uh, thank you so much for the, the llama, the marshmallow bed and the bag of toys, and the tunnel. And of course, I don't know exactly who is for what, but uh, we'll sort it out. So, unless you want to, like I said, uh, send me a note. You can send me a note. This I'm going to take right over the sink, so like I said, uh, that way it can get washed off, and we don't get any more of this anywhere, whatever it may be. I do think if I just open it, uh, probably it'll come off of that plastic and everything that's inside will be fine. Um, but uh, time enough for that after our last package. I'm going to wash my fingers, though. So I really don't know what Amazon got on there. Um, okay, and I'm going to put this aside, too. All right, we're going to move this box out, too, just in case whatever was on there is all inside the box. Hang on, I'll be right back. Oh, I guess you guys can hear me just fine, though. Ah, the joy of a wireless mic. <clears throat> okay. Hang on one sec now. You can listen to me wash my hands. Hopefully it was just stored like under some soap or something at the Amazon warehouse. It does feel pretty soapy. Hard to say for sure, though. It could be anything, so you don't want to take your chances, do you? Okay. All right, well, that brings us to, yes, the final package. I didn't think we were going to make it through, but we did, and it's only 11.20, so we did okay. Steph, thanks again for those things. That's wonderful. And this appears to be from Charlie I. Let's find out. Cut here. Oh, okay. Well, I tried. There we go. Ah, got me. <laughs> and I did, in fact. It's, the knife guard says, got me. And yes, it appears that I did. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's too funny. Okay. Here is the note. Oh, wow. I see exactly what you sent, too. How exciting. Uh, hello, Mr. A and DJ. Uh... Hope you are both well and have recharged your batteries after the last couple of weeks. Well, not quite yet. I thought we were going to get a recharge, uh, and I had about one day of recharge, and then right back into it. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. We'll get there. Enclosed are KA named rings with cat coasters for the Mr. A Tiny Tinies. Serenity has a ball with hers as she has just started to play. Also enclosed are KA named rings for the non-breathing animals at this academy. Uh, DJ, there are two coasters for you to remind you of some kit very close to your heart and very special to the KA community. Yes, all cats and kittens are special to us. Mr. A, surprise! Take care and stay well. Charlie, 853, purrs and meows from Weirdo and Kevin. Well, very mysterious. Let's find out what is in here. So first off, we have, uh, like you said, here's one for Wellingtons, and we'll use Wellingtons as the example to show everybody. The named rings, which are great cat toys, by the way. They do all love playing with these, 
and you can see it spells out Wellingtons in little blocks there. Also, like you said, cat coasters. Uh, cat head and a little cat bottom. Uh, so you got the front and the back of the cat there. Uh, I think that's what these are, the cat coasters you're referring to, although with this little tail on here, they would also make wonderful little cat toys in beautiful colors. So there we go, that's Wellingtons, and all the others are going to be similar. So that's Wellingtons. This one is Squalls, and it says Squall, and it's in this lovely pink color. And then we have um, Serenity, and like you said, oh, I love it. It's got rainbow-colored uh, little blocks that say Serenity, and a big uh, ball here of a sort of a teal color that she's going to enjoy. For Dr. DJ, we have a little teaspoon coaster. Look at that with blue eyes. Oh, isn't he cute? That's adorable. So that's uh, DJ's little teaspoon to keep with her. And here we have Lost and Found. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I know where Lost and Found is upstairs, so she can have this. That's too cute. Lost and Found is the, the stuffed animal cat, which does not look like a real cat at all, except if you put it somewhere, something about the shape of it, it, it catches you out of the corner of your eye every time. It, it seems like a real cat. Wow, we have uh, Bud and Brawly and someone else. Is that uh, Drizzle? All on the cat wall, climbing on top of the pod. Yeah, that's Drizzle. Drizzle's all the way up on top of the pod. A very slippery place to be, but I'm sure that if she did slip, she could catch the wall. I think you guys can see that the top camera should be zoomed out enough, although I could zoom in real quick and then forget to zoom out again. There, there's a better view for you. Look at them all right there. Wow, Bud, I did not expect these guys to be climbing the wall today, but there you are. Bud's all the way at the top, too. All right, so this is for Lost and Found, who I mentioned. Uh, this is for Photon. Oh, that's so cute. F-A-U-X-T-O-N. Photon is what we call uh, the, the stuffed animal. Um, it is that, that very realistic-looking cat that is in the sunroom right now and gets moved around from time to time. And we originally bought it so DJ would have a cat in her apartment that she was living in while she was a medical resident. Uh, her resident residency, I suppose it was. And then this says Doggo Mum. Uh, I'm honestly not sure who Doggo Mum is. Uh, Doggo Mum. Oh, oh, uh, the the uh, little doggo that uh, goes with the kittens, I guess. Um, well, uh, that's so cute. I did not know that we had a name there. So perfect, Doggo Mum. And then this says surprise. And then Mr. A. All right, let's see. Oh, I think I can guess. I can guess what this is going to be, can't I? Let's find out. That's, okay, I didn't know what it would say, but I thought now that I'm a mom cat, I was going to have to get my own name ring. Uh, look, you put a little hanger on it, too, so I don't have to play with it. I can just observe. Uh, that's so cute. Best mom cat ever, Mr. A. That is too sweet. I just love it. Thank you so much. And these are really wonderful. I'm glad I finally got my own and I have earned it. I might even play with it a little bit. Best mom cat ever, Mr. A. That's beautiful. Uh, I love the little colored blocks that you used and the whole thing. It's so sweet of you to make these for every little kitten and for me. Uh, that's very sweet of you too. Aw, thank you so much. And uh, thank you to everybody for, for all of it. Uh, Charlie, that is just, that's just too much. Um, really sweet of you. Uh, but with that, it is definitely time for me to get all this stuff sort of packed away for now and uh, continue to dread getting all of it sorted out before next uh, Wednesday. Yes, before Wednesday. So, and just to be clear, I always say uh, that I'm dreading it because I do sort of dread it, but then once I get started, I always love it. It's like having mailbag all over again. I get to see all the love that everybody sent for the kittens, and I think of each of you, and uh, I really, truly enjoy it. So it's just, a, you know how it is. Sometimes there's things like that. Uh, I think a lot of us get that way for social events where we just dread the idea of going to some social event, but then I think some of us actually quite enjoy it uh, in the moment, and then afterwards we go home and just uh, obsess about whether we said the wrong thing or made uh, embarrassed ourselves or 
anything like that. But in the moment, it's fun. Uh, sorting the endowments are like that, where I dread it, uh, and then uh, and then once it's actually time, it's very enjoyable. So, uh, thank you very much. For now, I'm going to hang my toy from a button, because that's one way to keep it with me, and my pocket's very full. Uh, actually, I want to do that the other way, don't I? Like this. And then fold it around. There we go. Now it's not going anywhere. That's perfect. Ah, oh, thank you so much. These are these are really sweet, and everybody's going to enjoy them. And I know Photon and Doggo Mum and Lost and Found uh, aren't going to mind too much if the kittens also want to play with theirs. Um, if they do, they can they can always object, um, but I, I suspect they won't. So, uh, thank you so much. For now, I'm going to put this all in the endowments, and we'll get it sorted, uh, you know, in due time. So there we go, right there. That's all got to go downstairs. All right, uh, I'm going to turn this microphone off so I don't forget. And also I have to use the restroom, so uh, let's make sure we get that out of the way. All right. Uh, thank you again so much to everybody for everything. It really is wonderful. I'm sorry at the end it seemed, I'm sorry at the end it seemed kind of rushed. Um, all right, here we go. It's probably time for me to go check on the little tiny squall in Wellington to make sure that they aren't hungry or need pooping. cats on this so you know these are endowments for all three of our moms uh, I assume that counts serenity as one of the three moms right that's how that works so mom cats perfect all right now um, how to sort this stuff. Let's take this stuff. Go here. There's something else that I wanted to bring upstairs with me. Uh, maybe not. Okay, so let's get that done first.
so much cleanup to do here. cats again on the outside of that. Especially Nibbles is going to love that. Like I said, she comes all day long outside watching the birds. She's still out there right now. No, we're gonna be both of you. All of you.
was just talking about those waterproof blankets that I left us sent them a long time ago. And uh, sure enough, as I walked through the main room, the kittens were all smelling one of them. And I don't know if smelled it, and yep, more than nailed it. So I just had to switch that out. And it. Been, uh, challenging for me to keep up though. I got I got to wash more waterproof blankets now, so that we have something the next accident, which is surely coming. What are you for you, bud? All right, well, uh, still lots for me to go do, like switch the laundry so that we have some clean waterproof blankets. Uh, thank you all so much for everything. It's just, it's just wonderful. And uh, um, yeah, I, I, wish, I wish I knew what to say beyond that. I never do. Uh, I think by now I'd come up with some words for it, but you, know, you guys are all just so amazingly good to the kittens. And uh, I know the kittens can't necessarily share their appreciation. I have to do it for them. Um, but I know that, that if they could, they certainly would. So uh, I definitely appreciate it as well. <laughs>